This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. In 2013, coming to a political theater near you, you'll see it coming, but can you avoid it? The Fiscal Cliff. Cliff, cliff, cliff. In a world where bipartisanship was a thing of the past, suddenly the talk began. There's been a lot of talk here in Washington uh, about the deadlines we're facing on taxes and deficits. These deadlines are going to be coming up uh, very soon. And they knew what that meant. Starting January 1st, every family in America will see their taxes go up. They tried everything, kicking the can down the road. It was just kicking the can down the road. The can is now a 55-gallon drum filled with explosives. But it was no use. <laughs> they were about to experience sequestration. The markets are going to chop us up. Don't miss the fiscal cliff. Cliff, cliff, cliff. Or maybe you won't be able to. <laughs> There's going to be blood and hair and eyeballs all over the floor. What? What? This film has not yet been tax rated. <laughs> the fiscal cliff, the fiscal curb, the fiscal this, the fiscal that, it's all fiscal. Doesn't sequestration sound like castration? Doesn't it sound painful? It uh, gives me the ooty guts every time I hear that word, sequestration. I say, wow, and I'm not even a guy. And it just uh, makes me double over and protect myself. Yeah, it sounds really bad. The brilliance of the president, as I told you when this all happened, when the Republicans voted to do this instead of just simply raising the debt ceiling, which was a matter of historical course. It was just something that we did without contratops, without any arguing, without any fighting. But of course, then the Senate was, you know, uh, Mitch McConnell's baby. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. And so they said no to everything, including things that were a matter of course, things that were routine, things that were done all the time by all presidents. And that was raising the debt limit. And so they couldn't agree. They, they were holding hostage uh, the, 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 the credit, the full faith and credit of the United States. They violated their oath, basically, is what I'm saying these Republicans did. And uh, nobody seems to want to hold them accountable. Nobody seems to want to punish them. It's all about Susan Rice. Susan Rice, let's take her out back and kick the crap out of her. Susan Rice sucks. Susan Rice is this. Susan Rice is that. No, that is a political game as well. So what happened with the fiscal cliff was they said, all right, we'll raise your lousy debt ceiling. Because uh, the president was like, uh, you do not really want to default the United States for the first time in its history. OK, it's just not something that would be attractive to the American people. And uh, they will blame you. So they tried to play hardball and they said, all right, well, we'll kick the can down the road. We will agree to raise the debt limit if you figure out a way to cut spending. Well, the president did exactly that. The president offered them $2.50 in spending cuts for every dollar in revenue that we would raise. And of course, because of Grover, another lunatic, that they all took a pledge to, again, a violation of their oath to represent the best interests of this country. But instead, they aligned themselves with a lobby shop. Americans for Tax Reform, Grover Norquist, fun funded by hedge fund managers and the Koch brothers. They took an oath. They pledged, you know, allegiance to Grover, not the flag and not to, uh, you know, uh, uh, liberty and justice for all. Oh, no. And they held hostage our full faith and credit in exchange for these uh, cuts. President offered them cuts, but also said, you got to take a balanced approach and do revenue, too. Well, they couldn't because Grover would have primaried them. 